What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode. Today we're talking all about the Neversink Farm Tools wind strip trays. We've been using these for about a year now, and so I'm going to give you my full review and some pros and cons of these trays. Let's jump into it. All right, so Neversink Farm Tools makes some really incredible tools, and one of those is their wind strip trays. We have multiple sizes of their wind strip trays, but these things are almost indestructible. Obviously, you know, you can't run them over. You actually may be able to, but you know, it's a really, really thick plastic. But in regards to a seed starting tray that will last a lifetime, I would argue that they make the best trays on the market. So if you don't know, the wind strip tray is an air pruning tray where you can start your seeds and you can see it's got the holes in the bottom and it's also got little slits or holes on the side of these trays. And what that is gonna do, it's gonna prevent that plant from getting root bound when you're starting your seeds in the spring or as you're doing you know, new succession plantings and transplants. And it just makes for a really healthy start because you're getting that air pruning action. Now, the one that we use the most of is their 72 cell. And we prefer just a larger cell on our farm. Um, we just want a bigger root ball for that plant to develop and grow. A lot of people will go down to the 120s, which is this size right here. We'll start like basil and cilantro and spring onions and stuff in this. Now you can go up. This is their 50 cell, which we'll start tomatoes in, zucchini. Large crops like that will start in the 50 cell wind strip tray. But we love them and we get really good starts. And I'll just show you here. Here's an example of a lettuce start in the 72 cell. So you get really good root development. You get that air pruning action and so it makes just for a really healthy start now what i love about the 72 cell trays is you actually can pop it out with your finger for example when you're ready to pull your plants out instead of just pulling the top of the plant like i just did you can come in here and you can just press that plant root ball out with your finger so that's why i actually really like the 72 cell tray however they also make these dibbers, never sink farm tools, to where when you're starting your seeds and you've got that tray full of soil, you basically can come along and press that into the surface of the soil so it creates this perfect little hole for you to drop your seed into. The other aspect about the 72 cell tray or any of their trays really, they make these dibbers for all their trays, is when you're ready to transplant, for example, you can come along with your tray full of plants and then flip it up and then it'll pop all those plants out of those trays. So then it's just an easy grab. You're not having to pull the plant by the stem and it just pops out really easily. So that dibber board acts um, not only as the dibber for the seed, but also it'll, it'll pop out these seedlings. Um, overall though, I do love these trays. I will say the one negative to them is they do dry out faster because you have the massive hole at the bottom and then you've got the air pruning on the sides we can have some issues sometimes with seedlings drying out and you have to really water a lot if you're growing these in a greenhouse and you're watering over top of them you really have to stay on top of it or else your seedlings will dry out again it's just something you have to pay attention to make sure you're watering a good amount but overall we absolutely love the wind strip trays they're tough you know they can be thrown around and they're not going to break and it is truly something that will last a lifetime. I've got a link down below in the description for these Neversink Farm Tool wind strip trays. When y'all use my link, I do earn a small commission, but it helps support uh, me continue to make content like this. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.